look at this thing. Spice cabinets are notoriously disorganized, always different shapes, sizes, and you can never find what you need. It's a total mess, but I'm gonna show you everything you need to conquer your spice cabinet. Spice bottles floating loose in space in a cabinet, we can do better than that. Here's what we're looking for, all the stuff for organization. Got some shelf steps. I feel like spices are the easiest thing to organize because they're small, they're compact, and you only need a few items to get everything in place. It doesn't really matter how much space you have, there's tons of solutions to keep things neat and functional. Start with the basics, clear everything out of the space, and take a few quick measurements. Pepper and pepper and ketchup if you can. It may seem excessive, but measure and measure twice. It'll save you a ton of hassle finding items to organize your shelves. Okay, this is kind of awesome. They have three different sizes of turntables. I think this will work. They have different materials, clear, wood. I just like the plastic stuff. I'm sure you know that the style and variety of organization solutions are endless. What matters most is choosing something that fits the aesthetic of your space and fits correctly. You also wanna take advantage of as much vertical space as you can, so a tiered system is perfect. Don't go ripping off tags and labels, arrange everything, make sure it fits, just in case you need to do any returns. Look at this thing. This is why I love shopping for stuff in person. You find stuff that you would never think of. This, you put your butter in, so you don't have to hold the butter. I love this. It's like a butter lip balm. Now I'm getting distracted instead of, okay, spices is the key, spices is the goal. For higher shelves, choose a bin, so that way, instead of reaching all the way to the back, you can just pull it down and get to what you want. When it comes to returning your spices back to the cabinet, you can use an alphabetical system, but I find that a little unrealistic to maintain. A more functional way to get things organized is group everything by type. So I've got spice blends right here, and I use those a lot. Pepper up here, and I'm gonna put dried herbs over here. I love a turntable. It's like a carousel of flavor. Everybody in the boat. And those bulk spices up top in the bin. Now this is what I'm talking about when I say spice up your life. I love this place. It's perfect for my type A personality. Just devoted to organization. Cabinet space is valuable and you may not be able to devote an area just for your spices. And if you're a spice minimalist, a smaller space may be ideal to keep everything organized. Here's how to keep your spices in a drawer. The hardest thing to do here is to focus because there are so many options. This is insane. I need like everything in here. This is quite literal. Chip clips, bins, bins, all types of bins. It's to organize all your bottles. I have so many. I need this. Do I need this? Oh, I think it's a pet toy. I get so distracted. Okay, we're on a mission for spice organization. Oh, perfect, right here. These are exactly what I'm looking for. You may be familiar with those carousels that keep spices on your countertop. You actually want to avoid that. You can prolong the shelf life of your spices by keeping them somewhere cool, like in a cabinet, somewhere dark away from sunlight, like in a drawer. And I happen to have all this space right here. To make this super functional, choose a drawer near where you prep food or cook. Now that's gonna be convenient. Oh yeah, that's about right. There's a plentiful amount of drawer organization options, and of course, measure to make sure you get the right fit. So of course you can order things online, shop online, but I'm super tactile, so I like to see a bunch of different options, know what things look like, what they feel like, what they're made out of. You may end up finding something that you didn't no existed. Ooh, these are resizable for your drawer to put your spices in. This is what I wanted. A spice drawer, sometimes more handy than a cabinet, so this is a cool option, and it's expandable. Okay, we're gonna hang on to this. One of the easiest options is an angled drawer insert like this. If you're looking to take up less space, look in the bathroom organization section. You can find some smaller varieties that are made for makeup, but they work perfect for spices too. With these, I have some extra room I can use for utensils or other items. Even a standard, really affordable utensil organizer works perfect, not just for forks and knives. And even an expandable drawer divider can give you a custom fit. Some drawers are deep enough and you can store those spices upright. Be sure to label the top so you can clearly see what it is. Plenty of options to make tasty meals and everything is right where I need it. I want a little container with a lid for all the excess spices. Oh, right here. No, that's for the refrigerator. What about this one? That's for the fridge too. None of this is helpful. <laughs> We've been spotted. Go, go. 
We've been found out. If you're tackling a project to organize all your spices, you may want to go the extra distance and decant everything into uniform jars. This doesn't just have to be for aesthetics. It can actually be a better way to manage your spice collection. Here's how to bring some order to the chaos of all those seasonings. Replace full of containers. I'm not finding the container I want. Oh, here we go. Gotta look up sometimes, right? To find what you need. Although I can't reach it. Mm. Oh boy. This may be bad. Oh, actually that was not difficult at all. Yeah, I think this will be great. Now's a good time to pull everything out and take inventory of what you have. And how about we purge anything that's expired, set those aside. This is two years old. Unlike wine, these do not get better with time. This is also a good time to combine those spices that you just keep buying over and over again. My advice, just choose a simple, affordable glass jar. About a five ounce jar is gonna be ideal. You can use it up, replenish it before it goes bad. Take the time and do a little head count of how many spices you have. Then you'll know how many containers to purchase, but get a few more. From here, decanting will take no time at all. Just make sure everything's super clean and dry. A little spice funnel will keep things simple and clean. It's just a matter of time until this jar is full. Also remember, if you're combining spices, put the newer ones on the bottom and the older ones on top. That way, of course, you'll be using up the older stuff on top first. Now begins the crafting and DIY portion of our presentation, labeling. I like pre-printed labels. You can find them online or in specialty kitchen stores. But a regular old label maker gets the job done too. Add the expiration date on the bottom with a sticker or label and update it anytime you refill. If something's running low, don't buy a brand new jar. Instead, look for bulk spices to refill. So I love a place like this, a specialty spice market. They sell their own blends and then they sell whole spices and individual spices. So you can get exactly what you need in the amount that you want it. So this is really cool. Different types of salt, different powders, a pumpkin powder. Ooh, <laughs> cheese powder. We'll make my own Cheetos, my own Doritos. Look for bulk options in your grocery store to make refilling really easy. I found a specialty spice shop in my area that does bulk spices and I can even bring in my jars and they'll fill them up directly. So look around, most metropolitan cities will have a similar business and you'll be supporting local. So the grocery store usually has the basics, but if you go to a specialty spice store, you can find some really unique stuff and try out some new spices or like this, like different types of peppercorn. They've got black peppercorn. They've got a blend, a smoked black pepper. Oh, and Szechuan peppers. These are hard to find, but here they are, whole jar of them. It even helps to label the top, that way you can keep the lid and the bottle together and identify it from the top. I also have a bin that I can keep in the pantry or the top of the cabinet. That's where all the extra spices go. And if something's running low, instead of adding it directly to your shopping list, check your bonus bin first. Time to keep going. I like to try out different spice blends, but spice blends always have all the ingredients on here. So if you find one you like, here are all the ingredients. You can kind of mix your own, play around with the ratios, but I'm gonna pick up one of these so I can try it out. It's easy to end up with a bunch of extra spices or random spices you don't regularly use. You can clean things up, combine some ingredients and become your own mad flavor scientist. Here's how to make your own spice blends. Salt and vinegar? I love salt and vinegar. <coughs> Careful sniffing the spices. Creating your own custom concoctions is the perfect way to use up the last little bit of spices or use stuff up before it expires. You really don't even need a rhyme or reason or recipe. I like to take some inspiration from my favorite spice blends. Just read the ingredients and see what's inside. Two types of salt are in here, my goodness. Ooh, Bloody Mary can rim your Bloody Mary glass with this. Pizza seasoning. Let's give a cautious sniff to this pizza seasoning. See, it smells like pizza. Oh, it certainly does. It smells like combos before. You know, the pizza little pretzel things. That's hilarious. A lot of these blends are loaded with salt, so you can make your own that are lower sodium or no salt at all. Making your own blend is great too because you can create the ratios to fit your taste. Lighter flavors like herbs and garlic and onion are great for seafood, fish, and even vegetables. Those bolder flavors like paprika and pepper are gonna be great on your steaks. But really, anything goes. Mix in your own secret ingredient like cinnamon or fennel or turmeric for a little extra something in the background. Got this little bit of crushed pepper and I like things spicy. 
a little herb, a little thyme, heavy on the garlic, it's my favorite. And a dash of dill will do. I think this is gonna be so tasty. This has the whole cast. Jerry Spice, Scary Spice, Baby Spice, they're all in here. So many choices. Not quite spices, but these are all different flavored sugars. I got everything, I'm done here. One of everything, please. May I get some, sorry, some sumac and a turmeric? So many spices. Store your mix in a small airtight container. I might sell this on an Etsy shop. If you have spices that are reaching or past the expiration dates, you don't necessarily have to throw them away. Spices won't necessarily spoil, they just lose their potency. So those old spices are actually perfect for simmer pots and potpourris. You can use them in DIY and craft projects like candles or soaps. Some can even be used in plant care or to defend against pests. So expired doesn't mean wasted. Thank you so much, have a good one. Take care, thank you. Ooh, that was a success. I love that place. One of my favorite ways to use up a spice blend, popcorn. The contents may be hot. Now I gotta pick a movie to watch. Maybe Spice World.